Today we're gonna talk about my five first date pet peeves. Now look, it's pretty simple, I'm gonna be honest. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm the dating guru of all dating gurus, but if you're interested in getting to know me or taking me on a first date, here's your five things that you should avoid. I feel like you should avoid this with any female though. To me, it's common sense, but if you're new to the dating world, maybe you're young or maybe you're a little bit rusty, here's some stuff that you should probably stay away from. Number one that I have on my list is showing up late. Showing up late is such a slap in the face, especially for somebody like me who's constantly busy and has a bunch of stuff to do. I always have tasks to complete. So if I'm taking the time to go on a date with you, like my time is something that I cannot get back. Time is literally money for me because there's so many things that I have to do. Anytime I take time away from one of my tasks, I'm literally taking time away from things that is gonna get me one step closer to my goals or finances or whatever you name it. So do not be late. We're not talking about, this is California, right? For me at least, I'm in California. There's traffic all the time. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, pushing it, right? You probably be able to get away with that. Stuff happens. The biggest thing is to communicate the entire time. You know you about to be late. You see it on the map. Maybe you, you put it in. You think you were going to make it a certain amount of time, and it says that you're not. Communicate ahead of time, and, you know, maybe I could do something else on the way there, or I'll just be more patient with your lateness. But just try not to be late. They say if you're early, you're on time. So you show up early. I literally, I can't stand being late for things. I have like OCD about being on time for things. It just irks me to be late because I respect other people's time. So I want my time to be respected. That's just me. So number one, don't show up late to the date. Number two for me, I said not being able to hold a conversation. I talked about this a lot on a previous video about how to ask a girl like me out on a date. Like, I'm one who I love intellectual conversation. It's just good conversation. I love to converse. So I don't want to have to do all the talking. I can. I could sit here and hold an hour conversation, two-hour conversation with anybody. I literally talk to a screen every single day. So it's easy for me to talk to others in person. But I don't want to have to hold the entire conversation, have something to say back. If you are not necessarily the most outgoing, I don't expect you to be as an extrovert like I am. But prepare yourself ahead of time. Maybe even write down some questions that you want to ask me or write down some things that you just find interesting or like hot topics that you find interesting in the world. Rehearse. Don't even be ashamed to practice this before you show up. It'll probably really help you. Uh, role play with, with a friend. Calm down. Calm down. I know where your mind is going. Calm that all the way down. Practice with a friend your conversation if you're really shy or nervous when it comes to speaking to girls. That's A-OK. -okay. Look, everybody has their strengths and everybody has their weaknesses. So just be able to hold a conversation. And at least if you're not the conversation starter, at least if I pop the idea or the girl pops the idea, then be able to bounce back and just have some things to say. Think on your toes. Be comfortable in your own skin at the same time that helps with conversation. Number three. Now look, I'm not super duper old fashioned nor traditional, um, but it's like now that I'm older, it's like it's really a pet peeve of mine. Guys who don't pay on the first date. Like for me, in a relationship, it's like you don't have to pay for me every time. If you want to, you're more than welcome and I don't mind being taken care of in that way. Like go ahead, you wanna swipe your card? Boop, go ahead. But you don't have to do it every single time. We could split some of the times, like I'm totally cool with that. Or who knows, maybe I'm treating you like in a relationship, right? On the first date, it just rubs me the wrong way when guys don't pay, like. First of all, you can be a part of this conversation of where we're going. So don't choose a place that's going to be out of your budget. This is part of planning and preparing ahead of time. You should know that out of 10 things on the menu, if I order this and you order this, you're going to be able to cover it. Think ahead of time. Like, okay, is this within my budget? 
everybody can't go to the Cheesecake Factory, you know, that's my favorite restaurant. So you're going to hear me talk about the Cheesecake Factory all the time because I freaking love it. Everybody can't go to the Cheesecake Factory the first day. Maybe we went to some type of dine or like dine in like bar or something like that. Maybe we went to Taco Tuesday because Taco Tuesdays are really cheap. They're like $2 for some tacos, right? She'll be able to cut. I don't even need a light. She'll be able to cover like three tacos, right? That part. If uh, you don't want to drink, you know, sometimes alcohol can be more on the expensive side. Me, personally, I'm not going to get lit on the first date because I actually want to see, like, your personality and who you are as a person. So, I'm not about to be ordering a bunch of drinks. So, if you run up the drink bill, that is on you, big dog. That is on you. Mentally prepare. And, I don't know, I guess it is a little bit more on the traditional side of just being a gentleman and saying, hey, I'm taking you out. I like it. I, I don't know. I like it. I like being paid for it first date. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think if you on your grown man swag, you fit to do that. You fit to come correct. And at least, at bare minimum, you're going to pay on the first date. That's just my own personal pet peeve. Some females don't care either way. But what I will say is that if you're not going to pay, this should be discussed prior to the day. This should be a discussion, like, and you could do it casual. I know some people feel awkward about it. I don't. I feel like it's brought up within the conversation of planning the date. You can do it like this. Let me give you some swag. Let me give you some sauce. You'd be like, so, hey, you know, I was thinking we can go hang out on this day. And then she's like, okay. Let's say she's like, yeah, that that works for me. And it's like, yeah, so cool. I mean, you know, like, you know, what type of food you like? What do you think you're going to order there? You should check out the menu. And if you're not going to pay, you'd be like, you know, I'll pay for myself. You pay for yourself and we can go from there. Like, you just do it subtle. Not pushy. Subtle. And then absolute no-no. I mean, this if this, this is a first date disaster, is if I got to pay for you. But, I mean, I guess some people really forget your wallet. But that, to me, is a horrible sign in itself. Because now you're giving off completely irresponsible. How do you be a man and forget your uh, and forget your wallet? Like, things happen. Don't get me wrong. Things happen. But that's a terrible sign. That's a, that's an automatic run for the... Like, no. I would rather your card get declined. Like, maybe... Dang, maybe some things, because sometimes things get charged and you didn't know it was coming out of the account or something like that. Don't even try that. I forgot my wallet. That sucks. Like, I'd rather your card get declined or something. And then it's like, that might be embarrassing. So I'm like, here, I got it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then you might, and this is a big, this is a big might, get some grace on that. Before we go to number four, I did want to tell you guys, if you don't already know, we have an exclusive club called Scribe Squad Members Only. And it's the only link in the description below. It'll pop up at some point up here. Make sure you guys click that because you can get my personal cell phone number. Yeah, I said it. You could text me, call me, beat me if you want to reach me. You want to ask me questions about, you know, reactions or dating or whatever it is. You can get that number if you join the Scribe Squad members only or just head over to scribecash.com and click Scribe Squad members only. It's at the top like right corner. You could do that. So make sure you tap in before it's too late because if it gets too packed, I am going to shut it down. I'll be honest. I am going to shut it down. But that's where I've been posting all my reactions and everything else has been at Scribe Squad uh, members only scribecash.com just click the scribe spot members only or click the link in the description below where it pops up now moving back on to number four my number four thing is drinking too much bruh like you're not hanging out with the dogs you're not hanging out with your homies i know i'm very homie like and i'm very friendly and i could just i can hang with guys girls it doesn't matter right and i give off that vibe this is still a date you feel me this is still a date do not be getting drunk. Because I'm going to be like, yo, does he have a drinking problem? Like, what is, like, okay, like, nah. Mm -mm. Nope, not here for that. I feel like two drinks max. That's it. That's it. And then, before you hit that second drink, you're supposed to be like, yo, do you want another drink? If I say yes, then you say yes. If I cut it off at one, you're supposed to cut it off at one. Like, chill with it. 
Like, because then I'm going to be, like, questioning, like, what is your intentions? Like, what vibe is this person on? Like, I, is this really who this person is? Or is this just the drunk version of them? Like, there's going to be so many questions in my head. Just don't drink too much. And then you might lose lips. You might get to talking about things you're not supposed to be talking about. Like, just, just two drinks max. That's what it is. Two drinks max. Or two shots. Whatever I drink, you drink. If I don't drink it, don't drink it. Moving on. Number five. Number five is bringing up unwanted conversations about sex. Total turn off. Boop, boop, boop. Because there's going to be a bunch of red flags going ding, 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 ding. This person just wants to hook up. I'm not at that phase. And there's no judgment if you're at that phase in, in like in your life. Because if you are, then you probably should bring that up. Because that'll just give her the hint that that's what you on tonight. So y'all could either be on the same page or not be on the same page. Who knows, right? Who knows? But I'm not on that page. So we're not even about that right now. So five, don't bring up unwanted conversations about sex. So meaning that if I, like, if somehow the conversation, which it probably won't, somehow the conversation about sex is brought up, because sex is a part of life, it is brought up, then you keep it to the level of what it is that I'm talking about. You don't escalate stuff unless I escalate. Just keep it right here. That's how you keep it safe. Or better yet, just change the subject. Or just answer the question and just move. And just move, groove back to something else. First date should just be about, you know, just getting to know the basics, seeing if I like your vibe, seeing if you like me vibe, and let's just, you know, let's keep it simple out here in these streets. <laughs> Let me know what else I should talk about on this channel in the comments below. Be sure, like I said, join the Scribe Squad members only. Access is open for now. It's really exclusive. It's really fire. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.